Okay, okay, in this um, tutorial we're going to have a look at how do you set up um, Google Search Console or as it's sometimes or used to be known, Google Webmaster Tools. Um, this is a hugely important and valuable tool. Um, it can give you information. It's kind of like Google Analytics' um, sidekick. Whereas Google Analytics gives you an idea of what's happening, who's coming to your website, what pages does there, are they looking at, um, how did they get to the website, conversions, etc. Um, Google um, Search Console gives you insight into how your website is performing in Google Organic Search and how Google is indexing the website and allows you to kind of configure it to in, in, enhance it. Now, um, the phrase webmaster might think that it's quite technical. Even from a marketing point of view, it's hugely valuable because it will start to tell you things like what keywords are people typing into Google and then landing into your website. So if you go under uh, the performance tab as an example, here you'll start to see the number of clicks versus the number of impressions, i.e. how many times did we appear in some search result in some way, shape or form, and of that, how many clicks do we get? Um, but below that, you will start to see what people have typed in to find that. So in this instance, Gmail auto forward, this website is performing quite well for. It's shown 6,110 times over the period that we're looking at, which is three months. And in that period, it's received 237 clicks. So this is super useful. I'm not gonna go through um, or try and convince you in terms of why you need to set this up. Just take it for granted you do and you will find a treasure trove of information available to you. We will be doing future videos in terms of how you can use the tool and find um, lots of interesting information about your website, your business, your c customers. Um, but in this instance, all I wanna do is get you in and enable you access because <clears throat> similar to Google Analytics, you can't find this out for anybody else's, anybody's website. You need to verify that you're an owner and be granted access. So that's the steps that we're going to, to, to take today. Um, and what you need is you will need a Google account so that you can log in. Obviously, if you've got a Google Analytics account um, for your business or for your website, just use that so you keep everything in one location. Um, if you're a business, just as a bit of a tip, try and keep everything under a business um, Google account. That way, when somebody leaves, they don't take all the access um, with them. So let's assume that you have that set up. Um, now, you can log in to Google Search Console just by searching for, if you go Google Search Console, you will see that you can find it under search.google.com forward slash search console or actually it's that one. Okay, so once you are, you've clicked here, you can click start now. I already have a number of websites set up as we can see, but what I'm going to do in this instance is set up an ac access to our Footprint Digital website. So I want to get access to this domain name. So I'm gonna go back to my Search Console profile and I'm going to add a property and that property is the URL of my website. So full HTTPS www um, footprintdigital.co.uk. Now, it will then go across and attempt to ask me to verify. And this is just to make sure that I have access. And there's a number of different ways in which you can do this. Um, the easiest way, if you have Google Analytics set up and you have an admin account for that, um, you should be able to just click Google Analytics and provided you are a user of the Analytics account, it will bind and give you access. So that's the first way that I'd suggest um, trying to um, install things. The second way is that you can, in actual fact, upload a file to the web server. So to do this, all you need to do is click the download and it will download a copy of this file here. Okay, so there is the file. And what you then do is upload it so that it is then accessible in the root directory of the website. 
Okay, so if you have access and you're able to use FTP, then you can literally download the file, log into your website um, or web server using FTP, and then upload the file. If you don't have that, then another way that you can do it is through an HTML tag on your website. Okay, and what this does is it ensures that this is output in the HTML of your website so that when Google loads it up the next time, it can see this verification code. So if you are have access to your website and you can upload that and put it into the head section of your um, web page, that's brilliant. Maybe you don't have access to FTP or aren't able to make changes. Then if you are using something like WordPress, there is a very simple way that you can get this verified. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy um, everything between in the quote marks of the content. So this long string of characters here. And then what you can do is if you log into your website, your WordPress um, account, the back end, Look for and see if you have the Yoast plugin in, installed. Now, if you don't have this installed, I'd probably suggest that you do. It gives you a lot of um, features that allow you to optimize and do SEO on your website. So if you don't have Yoast SEO, um, I'd certainly recommend that you, you do so and install it. Um, but what you'll see is once it's installed, um, let me show you where you can do that. Uh, in case you're not sure, you just go to plugins, add new, and then you can do a search for, let's say, Yoast. And it's like Toast, but with a Y. And then when it loads, it will show you that you can install it. We've got it active at the moment, but if you wish to install it, you just go ahead. You might want to um, get your developer to do it or take a backup before you do all these things is generally advised. but. Um, there's lots of bonuses and features that you can get from this plugin. Again, we won't be covering that in this particular tutorial. Um, but if we go back to Yoast now, give me a second. Oops. So if we go back to Yoast, and go to the main parent, what you can do is paste that in there, okay, and click save. And then what we should see is when we go back to the website, that verification code should be in the source code or the HTML of our web page. So if you right click there, go to view source, we do a find, we'll see that there's a Google verification code that is referencing the data that we put in here. So once you know that that's on there, you can then click verificate, verify, and I have now got ownership and I can go to the property. So in here, we can now get access to all the things that I spoke about before. We can start to see the performance metrics and start to see what people are are typing in to find um, the website, um, as well as set up a number of different configurations such as sitemap, um, crawl errors, mobile usability issues that might need to be addressed, lots of interesting and fun stuff. So that's again a whistle stop tour of how to set up Google Search Console um, and to get access to your website and start seeing what keywords are people searching for to find your website. Okay, um, that's it for today. If there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please like or share this if you have found it useful and subscribe if you'd like to um, be notified of future videos that we produce. Thanks very much.